Good morning. Today is day two of creating your symbol and today you're going to use the principles of design to lay out and draw the first letter of your name. Okay, so you will need a pencil and a piece of paper. I'm going to switch out my pencil for a pen so you can see it. And then you are going to orient your page vertical, tall like a tree. All right, let's get started. So what I'd like you to do with me is I'd like you to sketch a box that you're going to then sketch in, lightly draw you, the first letter of your first name. Of course, you could choose your last name. That all works. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to consider of the principles of design is balance. And I'd like you to write the words with me um, and commit it to memory, really, <laughs> through this practice. Okay, so balance, we are considering uh, symmetry, whether it is equal on both sides or asymmetric, it is not equal on both sides. So my letters are for Rhiannon. It is not symmetric here. Uh, it is not equal on both sides, like an A. An A is balanced. All right, I'm going to sketch in my R, and you sketch in your letter. I'm going to do it super fast. So now these videos are for you, and I forgot to mention last time, um, you get to do with them as you wish. If you want to pause um, at any time, please do that, so that allows you time to sketch. All right, so our next principle of design is going to be rhythm. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six letters in rhythm. I'm going to highlight the first and the fourth letter to show you the rhythm of a three count, right? So if you have a one, two, three, one, two, three. That's a rhythm in music. It's also in repetition because there's a pattern here. So uh, I really like this curved line here. I'm going to consider the rhythm of repeating this and creating a pattern. All right, so now let's look at the next principle of design is Emphasis. In other words, where does your eye go first? And there isn't really a place that my eye goes first. So what I would like to do is use that ammonite curve and create my own golden ratio spiral. Okay, and this is where your eye goes first. Uh, and that's uh, an artistic choice that I'm going to make. Uh, what artistic choices are you going to make? All right. Proportion. So this has to do with sizing and sizes. So I'm going to think about the spacing of my letter in the legs of the lettering. And then I'm going to think about the spacing of my background. All right, so the distance here is thicker or wi um, wider than the distance here in most of them. So I, th I think I do like that effect. Maybe I want to do them um, closer together, play around with that. And of course, I can always go back and erase or revise. All right, I'm going to bring that in because that just seems giant there. I'm going to pop that out so it feels a little more balanced. It's feeling a little, a little too heavy on one side, on this side. So I'm going to extend that background here. All right, I might change my mind tomorrow. That's what I'm going to choose to do right now. Okay, go in here with some hard edges, soften that edge, and then I'm going to um, look at my next principle of design, unity, and unity is tying it all together, 
right? So how am I tying the background to the foreground? How am I making it a symbol? How am I creating this concept or idea or image? How am I bringing all the pieces together? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the background, a little of the background, into my letter and see how that works. And then I'm going to darken my stroke, my lettering line. Of course, you can play around with colors, different patterns, different shapes, different lines. You can consider, since this is your letter of your name, you can start considering the things that um, the lines that speak to you, the shapes that you really like, maybe the colors that you tend towards, um, and incorporate those in and play around with those. All right, so this is just a thumbnail sketch, right? It's just a quick sketch to get the concepts and ideas. We looked at, in our principles of design, we looked at balance, our symmetry. We looked at our rhythm any um, patterns or repetition. We look at our emphasis, right? So where does your eye go first? We looked at proportion. We looked at our sizing here. And then uh, how did we tie it all together with unity? So I think my biggest attempt at that was right here, bringing the background into the foreground. Okay, so uh, take some time and work out and dial in your symbol today. Um, the elements of art and the principles of design are going to be tools when we work on our symbol tomorrow. Thanks for joining me.